So, uh, go, go, go. Let's do this. and frankly power, the likes of which this world has never seen before. This is the trailer I got to get right here. So, it's already preloaded. Always a good day when the trailer is preloaded, man. Don't you know that? Sometimes if it's, if it's a preloaded trailer, getting here a little late is not too much of a problem because it's already preloaded and it's waiting on it. Getting it there on time is. So dropping hook is always a good thing. Hey bitch, come here. Got your motherfucking man, come here. Mr. Pretty Tony, I mean, you know the rules of the game. I mean, your bitch just chose me. Now we can settle this like you got some class, so we can get into some gangster shit. Well, starting my morning off on a bad note. Bad note. My tandems is not sliding. For some odd reason, that notch right there, it's not going all the way in like it's supposed to. So I pushed it so I can reset it. See if it can go all the way. A few inches later. All right. All right, there we go. There we go. All right. Got my stuff together. Got my sandwich that I'm about to make. 300 miles. 300? Let's see, 400. I'm only getting paid for 398 though. Ray Manali says it's 444. Uh, six hours? I wanna round that up to like seven. <sighs> Some good water when it's cold. You guys remember that I was telling you that I was having a hard time getting the uh, the, those those wires those like real tough wires that they put on the uh, trailer for the uh, seals and how hard it is to get the motherfuckers off well I went to um, oh, I can't remember I, I forgot I, I forgot the receiver that I went to but the guard there had some of these handheld wire snappers Eight. I asked him where he got it from and he was like, yo, I got it from Lowe's. <laughs> huh. I gotta get me a pair of those. All right, I got it right here. Good old cable cutters. Let's see. It's the cobalt kind. I'm not sure if this is the one that I actually saw, but it's close enough to the one that he had, so. Definitely, definitely about to get this. If it don't work, I can bring it back. It was $35,000. Huh? $35,000 cash money? No, no, I get one, $35,000 $35, plus one, right? The one I gave. No, you gave me six, though, right? That's it was true. one, I had one, it was six, and a $35,000 plus one plus six leaves seven. $35,000 and seven, right? Motherfucker, can you buy that? Let 
me ask you guys something. So, don't you guys ever get the feeling that when you come close to your destination, whether it be the shipper or the receiver or something like that, especially after driving for a long period of time, you only you only away you you 30 minutes away, all right? 30 minutes with maybe 25 miles to go, right? I, I'm, I'm coming here to U.S. Cold Storage here in Illinois, which right now I'm beginning to hate this place too. It takes for fucking ever, dude. It was 35 minutes, 45 minutes later, you know? So, I'm like, I'm like, wow. It's like 20 minutes left on my clock. Well, 30 minutes or 35 minutes left to get here. I'm, I'm just exaggerating the clock. But really, I, I got like 13 minutes left on my, on my, on my clock. So, it's, it, it like takes forever. You want to know why it took forever? Got a problem here? I got a problem, nigga. I'm here. I gotta hear like super, super duper, duper early. You know what I'm saying? My appointment, and believe it or not, my appointment is at one fucking o'clock tomorrow evening. I got it here today at five. I mean, it's cool to get it here early. But sometimes, you know, sometimes places want to be funny and be like, oh, okay, well, we can't take you this early. We got to we gotta take you about an hour before your appointment time. But I'm like, you know, if, if I'm here early, why not take me early? I mean, the same way if I was late, you'll work me in if I was late. But now that I'm early, you can't work me in because I'm early, a day early at that. They can't get me today? They can't get me today? Can I ask? I mean, I, I'm being that I'm out of hours, I can, what, this is 24 hours, right? So, Okay, so do you guys have do you guys have an empty J and R Schwugel trailer? Uh, maybe I don't, I'm not sure. Can you check? The next day. Well, here it is. The next day. Um, I'm lightweight jaded, y'all. So y'all gonna have to excuse me. Unfortunately, I'm. So, but it's all good though. It's all good. Hey, you know what? Check this out. I wanted to tell you guys what what happened at Walmart when uh when I was on my home time. So you know I was with my family and we went down to the Walmart and uh steel yard. And uh it was so funny. You know, I had to go and you know load up on my medicines, you know, like, you know, my um, Advil or Aleve and uh, Alka-Seltzer and stuff like that. And it's a good thing I did because, oh, man, I woke up this morning not feeling good at all. You know, body was hurting, body was aching, head was pounding and everything. So I, I took some Alka-Seltzer this morning and I feel a lot better now, a lot better. And the weather is weather is crazy out here it is super sunny but anyway back to it um so we went over in the one aisle 
where the aspirins was at. So I happened to notice this dude with a save a lot bag. And I'm like, you know, I just caught him in the corner of my eye and he was putting a leave or some or some you know pain medicine in this bag. And you could hear it because it was you, you could hear it when all the pills come together and shaking and all like that. And I just happened to turn to him and he was just I mean he was just loading it in there. And I'm over here like, look, man, I I'm not believing what I'm seeing. I'm like, so I turn around and I say to dude, I said, dude, you alright, man? I, you, you good? He goes, yeah, I'm good. I'm all right. And I'm like, huh? You know, you loading up them bags with with a lot of with a lot of pills in here, man. What's what's, what's going on? So he goes, he he, come, he continued to say that he's good and everything. And I was like, man, I'm I'm at a moral dilemma right now. And we in Walmart, so should I should I? told security on them or you know or should I not tell security which I didn't so I didn't snitch I didn't snitch on the man maybe maybe he needed it for his family or something like that I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't feeling so high guys but I, I am strong enough to continue to do what I'm doing because see that's that's what we do out here but uh, I think I caught my son's bug or something like that place man I mean it's just been it's just been a bad couple of days man bad couple of days I get finished dropping my uh dropping my load earlier today the one that was supposed to be dropped off at uh at one o'clock so I got there um got in the dock it didn't took them that long actually it took them about an hour two hours uh about two hours 45 minutes so that was pretty cool that was pretty cool i still had some time left on my clock so the so the shipper where i'm at now is supposed to be a dropping hook you know i mean i did read it right right preloaded yes dropping hook yes so the guy told me he says Oh, don't worry about it. We about to get you in the dock. I'm like, in the dock? What do you mean in the dock, man? Ain't 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 the load supposed to be ready? I mean, it's a dropping. I mean, it's a preloaded trailer. Nah, nah, nah. We we didn't get it. We didn't get the load ready. And since you're here early, we're gonna go ahead and load you. Now, mind you guys, I've been sitting here since four. It's 6.43 is 6.40 now so is they going to load me at 7.30 and if so how long is it going to take them maybe about another two hours or something like that hey baby hey hey how you do remember me I'd have to lose all the brain cells in my head before I forget something as fine as you does everyone need an audition to get with you you ain't gotta go through all that shit. Yeah. Then I choose you. Be cool, baby, okay? Welcome to Indiana. So far, it's, it's not a good week for me, guys. It's not a good week at all. You know, 
So hopefully I can I can finish out strong. As far as how I'm feeling right now, I'm, I'm feeling kind of salty. You know, I'm feeling I'm still feeling kind of drained a little bit. My mouth is kind of pasty and all like that. Um, throat still kind of still kind of tight or whatever. You know. Hopefully, hopefully it's nothing serious. If if it is, I probably might have to might have to go home next week and uh, go to the hospital. Yeah, you definitely got to take care of yourself out here. You, you definitely got to take care of yourself. Your health is important. Your this is this is your money right here. You know, if if this is no good, if this ain't in good health, you won't be able to make no money. Yeah, 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 feeling good, feeling a little bit better. Took the shower, coming out feeling clean and fresh. It better be enough space on the car. I haven't even used it all like that. But anyway. All right, back at the truck. Get ready to get this day started. Oops. Get ready to get this day started and get this load out to Illinois. Hopefully when I get this load out there, I'll have one more that'll be four. Hopefully I can get one more that'll be five and I'll be good for the week, good for the week. But look, y'all, let me tell y'all something. It sucks being sick, man. It, it really do. It, it really do. But you guys, while you're out here over the road, you, you got to take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because if you get sick, you're out of commission. You know what I'm saying? If, if you're out of commission, you're not making no money. You know? So you got to keep your health up. Definitely stay healthy, man. Uh eat healthy foods try not to eat this truck stop bullshit you know i i'll say subway is pushing it a little bit but try not to eat all that all that fast food shit out here man because you know your your health is is what's important man and if your health ain't right then you you're not making no money you're not making no money at all so Definitely, definitely take care of yourself. All right, so do that. Once, uh, once I get this, I know I can because I rarely get sick. Uh, you know, I, I get sick like, like once every two years. But for some odd reason, when I went home, my son was sick. My son was sick just a week before I went home. So I, obviously, I must have caught one. So definitely, definitely drink plenty of fluids. Um, take the prescribed medicine that 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 you're supposed to take while you're a truck driver, and drink. You know, definitely drink some ginger ale. I got two of them. So about to go ahead and get this day started and get rolling. No, what are you waiting for?